and now for something completely different and leave it at that. Um, so I, oh yeah, I need the iPad, I can't see up here. Um, so I have a short story, um, and it turns out that short stories are really long to read, um, even when they're short. Um, so I am only going to read like the first couple pages because I hear authors can do that. Um, oh, thank you. Um, so this, um, yeah, so I'm going to kind of leave you hanging by only telling you the first part of the story, but the rest of it is coming out this summer. It's going to be pu published in an anthology called The Machine of Death. Yeah. Yeah. Um, plus two nerd points for those of you who cheered. Um, for the rest of you, the only thing you really need to know to um, understand the story is all the stories in the anthology have to have the same premise, which is a piece of technology called The Machine of Death. It takes a blood sample and it spits out a little a um, couple words on a piece of paper, and that is how you are going to die. Um, it can be misleading, it can be a joke, it can be a pun, it can be um, terribly ambiguous or very specific. The one thing it cannot be is wrong. 216 by Marley Norton. 216 seconds. I am floating, floating, floating point. What are my significant digits? I am missing a significant digit. 216 minutes. Xinghua had never been hit by a truck, but if she had, this is what it would feel like. Or so she imagined. It was an imprecise term, hit by a truck, and it annoyed her that her analytical brain offered such a weak comparison. After all, there are many kinds of trucks that could impart different kinds of injury depending on their mass and speed. Momentum equals mass <laughs> times velocity, or something like that. Physics were not her forte, though neither was biology, and yet <coughs> here she was. She blinked her eyes, trying to shake off the muzziness of the pain medication, then glanced down at her body. The prominent sine curve, which had been her stomach, had deflated to a crumpled plane, a graceless complex function. Let the XY plane be her belly, Z will approach zero over time. Or so she hoped, if she did enough sit-ups. One child per couple indeed, as if any sane woman would do such a thing twice. Satisfied she was still contiguous, Jinghua relaxed back into the hospital bed and waited for Wei. He'd have the test results, and the baby. He came then, full of the beaming energy all new parents ought to have. Ought to, that was the operative word. Jinghua stared, stared at the bundle she he'd placed in her lap, trying to feel the connection motherhood was meant to automatically bestow. The overwriting of mental pathways that would tell her this lump of person was the new center of her universe. She looked up then to see Wei watching her, his smile a little more forced than it was a moment ago. She put the baby to her breast, since that seemed to be the protocol. It was strange the sensation of being consumed, but not altogether unpleasant. After a few tries, a rhythm was established. The pattern seemed to calm them both. Xinghua had always found something soothing about periodic functions. And perhaps this was Mama's girl after all. A rustle of paper recalled her attention to Wei, who cleared his throat and began to recite the child's statistics. Jinghua perked up at that. Data was something she could understand. Height, weight, genetic sequence, it was all within the expected parameters. When they got to the death note, though, she paused before announcing 216. 216, Jinghua echoed. Wei nodded and handed her the paper. The baby squeaked a protest as Jinghua shifted to examine the report. Is this a code we look up? Wei shook his head. I had them test her on two different machines. That is the death note, copied exactly. Three numbers, side by side. He paused, waiting for her computational analysis. I thought it might be a time, Wei prompted after a moment. No, there would be punctuation if so. Duration, more likely, Jinghua answered absently, still analyzing the data, searching for the solution. Could it be a translation problem? No, death notes were in native Mandarin now. Much of the research had been done at Fudan University, so of course they'd made a big deal of it. <coughs> Duration, you mean years, Wei pressed? No, that's absurd. Days, hours, minutes. Three hours and 36 minutes old, she answered immediately, converting in an instant. Then she paused as she realized what she'd said. Xinghua glanced at the time of birth on the report, then up at the clock on the wall. It was analog with no second hand. Xinghua wrinkled her nose at the imprecision. Soon, she told him. 
They both watched the baby intently as the moment approached. Nothing happened. Okay, and the rest will come out at Comic Con.